When exactly did you give her the script? Late 2017. Why would you now give her a script when she still owed you money? Wouldn't you say that she was unreliable in that regard? I was relating to her that I was having difficulty finding someone to type this up. And you didn't have any problem asking a patient to do this kind of work for you? She was a patient, was she not? She, well, she and, had been. Yeah, and that certainly. is a special relationship. Yes. And you claim that he violated that trust. Completely. It wasn't appropriate the way he would call me. Um, I have voicemails um, and a call Are log. you sure you did not take $900 in, and you're saying that you didn't take the 900 because you did all this extra work? No, sir, because I actually, I actually paid for the website fees. I also have uh, receipts of my payments of how much I paid him, $1,000, $350, another $300. Okay, I'm going, I'm going to pass this to yes. Judge Tawalda. Dr. Pastian, you talk about this loan that you gave the defendant, but then you also say that she owed your office because of the services you rendered to her that you wrote off. Off. Why would you give someone any money if they had outstanding debt to your office? Well, she couldn't work in the job she ha had and was implied to me that when I get back to my normal job, then I'll be able to pay you. Mm -hmm. So I didn't think anything unusual of that. You also stated earlier that you wrote off some of that debt. Why not do the same for this $900 loan? The other part of what I wrote off was services that I did. It wasn't money out of my pocket. The $900 was, in fact, $900. Okay. After I had all these other issues, including a heart attack at one point, which I spent almost three weeks in the hospital for, I had at least temporary memory loss during that time, in addition to the car accident concussion. In terms of your relationship with your clients and that being of a friendly nature, do you think it's normal for you to ask a patient out to dinner repeatedly? Oh, that we went that's out normal? once, and that was in conjunction with the manuscript. But how many times have you asked her to go to dinner? I really don't know. So let's go ahead and play that audio that the defendant provided of you asking her out to dinner. Hello, this is Dennis. I have a request of you. I'm supposed to go to a dinner tomorrow evening, and the doors open at 7. Dining starts at 7.30 with the speaker. Well, as far as a guest goes, they say, I have to bring a guest. Everything's free, apparently. So if it's okay with you, if you're available, would you give me a call back and let me know? Christina, this is Dr. P. I was just looking through things for veterans, and I found that at McCormick and Smith's on Rosecrans, they have a deal for veterans. So if you wanted to take me out for dinner, that'd be a real perk for you, because I'd be free. Talk to you very soon, I hope. Bye. I could barely understand once it went past the first sentence. Well, I heard enough. Those were two voicemails, and you're asking her to accompany you on one of the voicemails to dinner, and the second one, you asked her to take you out. Is that normal? I don't know. What's normal? I mean, you, Come on. what your normal you know what? is is not listen, the same listen, normal listen, that not, mine is. I, I'm not going to beat around the bush here. It's not normal. You were doing some really weird things. It's just a line that was crossed that should not have been crossed. Well, what Let me hear point from you. in time, when was that? That wasn't I, like I don't care what it was. It happened. Now, I need you to tell me, Miss Yoon, how often were these calls happening? Oh, my gosh. He would call me three or four days in a row be asking me, where are you at? What's going on? And I would have to call him back and say, hey, I'm working. I work really long hours. I can't talk. And I would just have to calm him down. There's even an audio saying he's going to file a missing persons report on me because I wasn't calling him back. Let's hear that. I was going to go this morning to the Torrance Police Department and file a missing persons report on you because I thought that was the only possible way that all the unanswered phone calls that I had uh, could have happened. So keep trying to get a hold of me. Thank you. Mr. Postanian, did you actually file a missing persons report? No. 